Hey everyone! Oh, you sorry about that. I dropped my camera. Your very own island karaoke party. Um, this is the third video I've done this tonight. Um, I was looking over. I was looking over other people's videos. Um, and I've seen some that was about being a teen mom. Um. I am not a teen mom now. I am 21. Um, but this is not my first merry-go-round. This is actually my fourth pregnancy. Um, when I did get pregnant for my daughter, her name is Jaden. Um, I was 17. Uh, this was three months after I had a miscarriage. Um, being pregnant at 17, it was rough, like really rough. Um, my pregnancy itself wasn't rough, but just being pregnant at that age was rough. Um, I had no support whatsoever. Um, I had my husband, and I had my adopted dad. Um, I was married before I got pregnant. Um, a lot of people have looked past the whole me being pregnant. They just look straight at my age. Um, I can't really explain how I felt um, being pregnant at 17. I've got a lot of judgment. Um, a lot of judgment from older moms. Um, I did not have my I'm mom there like I wanted to. Um, I didn't have no family support from like my older sisters. Um, I definitely didn't get no support from my younger sister. Um, I just at first I cared of what people thought, so I basically hid my pregnancy. Um, I didn't tell many people, um, but, uh, it, it was, it was, it was tough, um, I had to do it alone, um, when I had my daughter, I was, I turned 18 in July, I had her in November, um, my mom had came around, uh, cause it was just a bunch of, let's see, um, misunderstanding type drama, um, but, uh, I was 18 when I had my daughter, um, after I had my daughter, it was just, it was harder, um, being a mom wasn't hard, um, it was just the judgment from everyone else, um, and the name callings, I had a bunch of people talk about how, um, I was a kid having a kid, um, but I mean, being, um, being a mom at a young age, it, it wasn't hard, it, it really wasn't, it wasn't difficult, it wasn't nothing, I mean, um, uh, when I have been told from like many older moms how to raise my kid, um, they wasn't given like nice advice, they were just telling me how to raise my own child. Um, I was never raised up around all kinds of babies, so it, it, was, it was hard, but I mean, I had family support, I had help, um, there was no, well, you have to drop and stop everything to tend to scream a baby, um, my daughter was very easy, um, all she did was sleep, um, she ate when she was hungry, um, I changed her diaper when she used the bathroom, um, she had a bath at night, I tended to the umbilical cord, um, I mean, it was no, you have to stop and drop everything I like, er, I like everything for him. Um, I had my husband's help for a week before he had to go back to work, and then I had my dad. Um, I was stitched up, so it was pretty tough for me to be able to clean up, do clothes and dishes and stuff. So that really came in handy when my dad was around. But 
Um, being a teen mom, I mean, people, they're gonna judge you. I mean, I'm 21 now, and I'm going on my third baby, and I'm still being judged. I've been married and together for four years, been together with my husband for five years. Um, and this is my third child, and I'm being judged, but... I have my own opinions about some stuff. Um, my mom had five kids, um, and I look up to her. Like I really do. Um, my older sister, me, and my younger sister, we are close in age. My older sister is twenty-three. I think she's twenty-three. I'm twenty-one, and my younger sister's twenty. Um, so, and my mom has five kids. My youngest sibling is two, and my mom is like 40. Like, I'm pretty sure it was rough for her, because she got pregnant when she was 16 and had my sister at 17. So, it was, it was tough. It was rough for her. Um, so I really look at her. Like, she has made me the person I am today. She's made me strong. Um, now that I'm 21, it's way easier to deal with the, um, the judgment and stuff. Uh, but I mean, I don't think of what your age is, you're still gonna get judged. Um, I had got pregnant three months after my daughter was born. Actually, she was four months old when I found out I was pregnant. Um, and I was already a month pregnant when I found out, um, that caused a lot of judgment, um, I had people come saying, oh, well, y'all didn't waste no time, um, uh, we have, it was said that having two kids was harder than just having one, um, and then my kids are 13 months apart, so when I gave birth to my son, my daughter wasn't walking yet. So, not only did we have to carry her, we also had to carry a course to me. Um, that was kind of the only hard part. Um, but, she started walking a month later after I had my son. Um, she is very helpful. She threw diapers away. She um, got diapers for me. Um, she helped me feed him sometimes. Um, she was really helpful. So having kids um, back to back is not that big of a deal. I don't know why people make it seem that way. Um, my son is now two. My daughter is now three. And I'm 18 weeks pregnant. Um, by the time this baby is born, which would hopefully be in May. My due date is June 2nd. So hopefully the doctor takes the baby out in May. Um, also, my daughter turns four in November. She starts school in August. Hopefully she starts school in August. And my son will be three in December, which he's not going to be starting school until not the year coming, but the next year after that. Um, and already they help me with undoing clothes that we buy. Um, they talk to her all the time. They rub my belly all the time. They're really helpful. Um, but back to the whole being a teen mom. Um, being a mom, period, is probably sometimes hard. I don't know how it is for y'all single mothers. Because um, uh, I'm not a single mom. I actually have my support from my husband. Um, so I really can't describe how a single mom would do it. I'm pretty sure it's rough for them to like work and come home and most of them still in school and stuff like that. Um, but I know a grown woman who just shouldn't be a mom at all. Um, she is almost in her third, uh, no, she's gotta be like 32, 33, and she's going on her second kid. Um, my daughter is one month older than her daughter, uh, and her daughter is just bad. I mean, she's mean. Her mama baby finds her. It, it's terrible. Um, she gets her way whenever she wants. Um, and she, the mom is pregnant again for the second baby. Um, but I mean, 
I know a lot of teen moms that take way, way better much care of their children than these older moms do. Um, I do not judge anyone. I mean, if you're like 12 and pregnant, uh, then your mama wasn't doing something right. I'm sorry. Unless it was a situation like my sister was in. Um, she was raped and ended up conceiving the baby um, when she was 16. But if you're out there when you're 12 years old and you're having sex with like these 16, 17-year-old boys and you end up pregnant, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I would... I, I, I wouldn't even know what I would do if my 12 year old daughter came and told me she was having sex. Um, but I was 17 when um, I got pregnant for my first child. Three months later, I found out I was pregnant again for my daughter. Three months, uh, four months after I had my daughter, I found out I was pregnant for my son. And then now I'm 18 weeks pregnant for another girl, which is also, um, her name is going to be Zoe. So if I start using the name Zoe in any of my videos, I'm talking about the baby I'm having. Um, but um, if you're 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, and you're pregnant, and you, you know, you want to take care of your kid the way the best you can, uh, then go for it. I mean, I'm not against that. Um, I was 17. Uh, it's, don't let anyone tell you that you can't be a good mom or your kid having a kid or anything like that because to me I think um, they're just jealous that's, that's what I think um, I've had a 24 year old woman tell me that it's just sad that uh, I was 17 having a baby because I was a kid having a kid and she ain't had one kid to her name so um, it's all jealousy, so, you a teen mom, you, t you treat your kid the best you can, that kid got a roof over its head, food in its belly, uh, clothes on its back, and you going out there, and you working a job, and going to school, I give it to you, um, but I do know where you're coming from, uh, I was a teen mom myself, but, I made it through it three years as being a teen mom, and it was fine with me. Um, you have family there to support you. Uh, if you just got a downright no good baby daddy, I feel, I'm so sorry. Because um, there are those out there knock a girl up and just ball out, act like they ain't got no responsibilities to take. Um, but, uh,. That's how I feel about the teen mom situation. Um, sorry, my hand itches. <laughs> if anyone has any questions about anything, feel free to ask. Um, I will answer them the best I can. Um, I am not uh, no psychiatrist or anything. I'm not tell you how to run your life. I'm not gonna tell you how to treat your kids or anything like that. Um, but, uh, you can ask me anything, and, uh, unless it's, like, really personal, then, uh, yeah, I probably won't feel comfortable answering it for you, um, but, uh, subscribe to my videos, uh, and I will be glad to subscribe to yours, and, um, you want advice, I'll be glad to give it, so, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope I helped someone out there. Um, I'm actually starting to crave for some cereal, so I might just go do that. Um, well, it seems all my videos come out long, so I guess I'm going to end this one before it gets too long. Um, well, I... Um, I think that's all. So, uh, bye.